Yeah, good evening, you Daryl. Who all are you hearing? You might know something like this. Gate BC, what's that, 1T? You ran across any of those? Mm -hmm. Did you get one of those at? I'm looking for one of those. You know, I know exactly what it is. I've had a lot of experience. But the question is, why do you want one? Next for my collection. Yeah, you gonna put it on 75? I was thinking about maybe 40. No, I won't do it. So don't do it for 40? Nope, not the way it's laid out. If I had one of those, and I was gonna make a transmitter out of it, I'd strip it down to all its component parts. And I'd mount the power supply, control circuits, and everything else in the 19-inch rack and build up an RF section with a pair of 4-400s and be done with it. So you, you strip those 833s out and uh, you need the 833s and run it with the 400s. Okay. Yeah, you keep the 833s for the modulator and the PA tubes are a pair of 4400s or maybe three of them in parallel. Okay, what about 160? Would it be good for 160 or just 75? Well, you can put them on 160. What you want to do is see the video that was that Clark made of me at the ARRL converting over that one. If you follow everything that's done that I did, you can do it too. Yeah. I haven't got the word out. I'm trying to find one for might be kind of hard, but I don't know. Let me know if you uh, know somebody want to get rid of one. Well, they're much better transmitters than that to put on, on for ham radio. Okay. All right, keep your eyes open. All right, I'm going to get out of here, man. Shut this thing down and... Uh, I'm going to go to the airport tomorrow. All right, Tim, take care. Connor. Billy. And the other one's out there. I'm going to pull the plug on this one and uh, get out of here. So 73s. And I'm out. And Clark is still out there. I'm out. Alright, Daryl. See you later. Hey, Timmy, you hearing any improvement on the hum situation over here? Don't hear it now. That's good, that's good. Still a little bit there, but I got rid of most of it today. And now I have zero analog audio equipment in the chain. It's all it's all digital now. That Analonics 222 was putting out a nasty hum and a big noise floor too. When I took that out of line and just ran everything else and brought the gains up, it was so much quieter. But. That's, that's all I got going on over here. Not too exciting. An analogic? Not familiar with that piece. 
No, the, it's an analog audio processing. I, I, I don't have it. It's all 